So tell me, what do you think? Well, sir, the forensic reports shows that the bride killed her husband and committed suicide. Hmm. That makes it a clear cut case, then. Yes, sir. But the question is why? It all doesn't make sense. Absolutely. None of it makes sense. But what do we do? If this is the case, then we'll close this case and move on to something else. I, I quite agree with you, sir. But not without us doing our best to find out the reason and uh, to revisit the crime scene. To be sure we're not leaving any stone unturned or letting a murderer walk freely. So, sir, please, give us more time to investigate and be sure. That's fine. But what about the fingerprints? Did you find any other prints? Yes, sir. Um, that's of the chief bridesmaid and uh, the best man. We found them on the place the bride and groom ate with. Fine. Find out all you can and keep me posted. Yes, yes sir. First person who found them dead. Would you please tell me exactly what happened that day? Like I said in my statement, Pedro asked me to go and separate some special ones for his friends. And that took you how long? It, it took a while because by the time I got to the cooling van, the guy in charge was not there. So I had to wait to ensure that the instructions that Pedro had given me was passed on before returning back. If asked, what would you say led to his death? I don't know. I was shocked to find them both dead. In your understanding, explain the relationship between Pedro and his wife, Sophia. Well, in my own point of view, they both seemed very happy, you know, excited. So I, I really do not know what went wrong. But, but you know what they say, you know, looks can be deceitful. Deceitful? Are you, are you in a way saying they were having problems or they had problems? No! I mean, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. 
Everything was fine before Pedro sent me on the errand. So I can't say for sure if they had any problems. So, aside you, the groom and the bride, of course, who else had access to that room? The chief bridesmaid, who happens to be the twin sister to the bride. be all for now, Mr. Ernest. But if you remember anything, no matter how minute you think it may be, please don't hesitate to let us know. It will be of great help. In the meantime, you are not expected to leave town. I hope you understand. So tell me, what can you tell me about your sister? That you don't know already. She was your girlfriend, right? Yes, she was. But as you also know, we actually separated a long time ago. People change from time to time, right? No. My sister did not. in support of this theory that my sister killed herself and her husband. I mean, she can be very short-tempered, but she's not suicidal. I see. So what theory do you have for her death then? That my sister was murdered and so was her husband. I cannot tell you who because I don't know. But that is why you're here to find out. Right? reports and something doesn't seem to add up from these pictures taken from the crime scene the groom was stabbed on the right side while the bride was stabbed on the left side of the stomach what are you trying to say what I'm trying to say is that for Sophia to sustain a left-sided wound, it means she has to be left-handed. Why then does the groom have a right-sided wound? I, I still don't get you. What are you trying to imply? That there is more than one killer. From the forensic report, the time of death between the bride and the groom is not the same. The bride died 15 minutes before the groom. My point exactly! Sir, 
we would like to have a reenactment of uh, the murder of Pedro and his wife. Reenactment? Yes. That would mean bringing actors in? Uh, more or less, sir. But we'd like to use police officers. That way we'll save costs. Is that necessary? Yes, sir. From this reenactment report, it is obvious that one person could not have committed both murder, since uh, one of them was stabbed to the right and the other one on the left side. Exactly. I said I did here in the first report. You did? But there's nothing like that stated on these reports. Be. Someone must have tampered with this report. I stated it here that she is right-handed and wouldn't have stabbed herself on the left side. Something is wrong somewhere. I think we need to look into that first before we move. Meanwhile, who typed the report? seems to be different from what the forensic experts claim to have found. What happened? I did the job as it was given to me. I didn't send for Can I see the documents on your system? Yes. What are you saying? This is the exact same report we have. This is not what I typed. I don't know how this happened. Do you realize that giving us wrong information, altering reports, will affect our report and investigation? Yes, sir. I told you before, we will be calling you from time to time as this case develops. And so far, it's been proven that, aside Pedro and Sofia, that someone else involved in this murder that we don't know about. And who else would have? That is what we are trying to find out. Do you have any useful information that can help us crack this? Well, aside myself and Ed, I still came in with them and later left. I don't think anyone else accessed that place in our absence. Um, do you suspect anyone? I mean, someone who probably was not happy they were getting married? Or someone who had issues with them, either of them? <laughs> My sister didn't have a lot of men in her life, apart from Inspector Martin, yeah. Wait, hold on. Sophia dated the inspector? Yes, we dated. But that was a long time ago. It didn't work for us. 
Okay? Look, can we go back to the question? Like I said, I don't know anything. Maybe you should try asking some people when they are at the wedding. They might have seen something we didn't. Thank you very much. That'll be all for now. Please, you may excuse us now. Um, a moment, please. You never told me you had an affair with the diseased. That was a long time ago. I never thought it was necessary. Martin, if you were not an inspector and someone I know, you would have been a suspect. Make me one. I will understand. Fine, I will take you for doing your job fine. There. I know you too well to do that, but please, answer me sincerely, did you love her? What does it matter? We're not together. She's dead. But there's no harm in telling me the truth. <laughs> I loved her. I still do. What does it matter? You, you can share what really happened, please. With Linda, doesn't make any sense right now. I know, Martins, but Look, you... please. the guests I spoke with don't have any idea. They all claim not to have gone close to that door. Unfortunately, I had the same bad luck today. And now, I'm having a punch or tire. I'm really not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. No one seems to have heard or seen anything. I just hope we find some clues soon. Me too, because... Uh... Oh, Me too, because, I mean, this whole thing is surely getting on us. We just need to get this one. Please, do you have some change? I need to buy some drink or something, and I didn't come out with my bag. Of course. Please get me some snacks. Well, give me two bottles of water, one Sprite, and give me this snack. How much? Just give me nylon. Come to me. Yes. Oh. 
your wallet. Is this you? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Way back. You look good, even way back. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, so, what next? Um, I think we should pay Pedro's mother a visit. Let's talk with her. Don't you think so? Uh, okay, you're right. All right, uh, it's a nice one. But you have to go alone. I still have one or two things to attend to. It's fine. Provided you drop me off and see give me TP. I'd not come my bag, remember? I know. <laughs> yes, ma. Bad man, tell me what your plan be. Yeah. Why you wanna harm me? Yeah, me? You wanna take me through the fire and then you wanna burn me? You wanna outrun me? No, but my eyes on you like the eyes of an eagle. No, no, mm -hmm. right. Ain't no place you can hide, man. I'm still gonna find you. Still gonna find, find you. you. Yes, yes, Bad yes, man, yes. No. No, no. Why you wanna put me? I'm surprised I seen you here. I thought that by now my son's mother would have been found. That's why I'm here. We need to find who murdered your son. Does it look like the person lives here? Please don't misunderstand me, ma'am. I mean well. I just want to know if your son had enemies. Perhaps people who wanted him dead. <sighs> My son was a successful businessman. It would be difficult for him not to have enemies. You have a lovely home. Was he your only son? Yes. I'm so sorry for your loss, ma'am. But if it won't be a bother, I'd like to go into his room for a few minutes. What are you going to find there? He has his own house. He doesn't live here anymore. I know. But it's very important for this case. Well, if you say so, let me take you to his room. Show them. Ah! You're nasty! Let somebody put me in Bad man, tell me what your plan be. Yeah. Why you wanna hurt me? Yeah, you wanna take me through the fire and then you wanna burn me? You wanna outrun me? Run, but my eyes on you like the eyes of an eagle. Mm -hmm. right. Ain't no place you can hide, man. I'm still gonna find you. Still gonna find, find you. Oh, yes, bad yes, man, no. Oh, no, no. Why you wanna put me down and then run, run away? away? Bad man, no. Oh, oh. Yeah, I got my eyes on you like every, every day. day. Bad man, no. Why you wanna put me down and then run away? Bad man, no. I got my eyes on you like every day. Bad man, no. Bad man, you are a fugitive. Running out of skater, trying to bring the beef. Bad man, you done the violate. When you coming to me, I will violate. Bad man, you can't run no way. Me, I'm still gonna find you. Bad man, no. Why you wanna put me down and then run away? Bad man, no. Me, I got my eyes on you like every day. Bad man, no. Why you wanna put me down and then run away? Bad man, no. I got my eyes on you like every day. Bad man, no. Don't try to tempt me, don't try to hate me, I know I said Bad man, no Bad man, don't try to tempt me, don't try to hate me, I know I said
is Martin doing in this picture? I'm sorry, Martin. I know this is wrong, but I can't stop myself. get it. This is the forensic report of the murder of Pedro and Sofia. How come it's saying something else here? What is happening? Martin.
Moisa! How are you? I'm fine, Ma. Is Inspector Martin upstairs? Yes, he is, Ma. Oh, Ma, you have a parcel. Parcel? Where did this come from? An unknown source, Ma. And I'm supposed to believe a liar like you? Sure, you're not the one that killed her. Hey, I have no reason to kill the woman that I love. Listen, a loser like you will do anything to feel so important. I am not a loser. Do you understand? He must have handed over everything to you, but I've done so well to keep up a good life. But I'm bigger than you. And you know what? I can end your miserable life with just one phone call. Look at you. Just, just listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. One phone call. That is all you ever do. Spend money you never labored for one day. Just one day. Is that what hurts you? Huh? That's your pain? Oh yes, I, I, I get it. Okay, you feel like I'm spending your share of our father's money? <laughs> what does that tell you? That whatever I desire, I go for it and I get it even if you deserve it the most! Oh man, listen. You can have the wealth. All the nonsense, I don't care. But that is the only thing you could ever take from me. What about Sophia? Huh? Who did she end up getting married to? She got married to me, you know why? That's because you're a loser! <laughs> So you belong on my side! with him. Where did you get this video from? Does it matter? I want answers. Martins, I need answers! Why did you do this? I thought I knew you! But obviously, I don't. Please, 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 Maya. You do know me. Just that... I just couldn't stop myself that day. Obviously, you couldn't stop yourself. How come no one is aware you are related to Pedro? Damn it! Now I get. 
forget it. You're not just Martin Aze. Your real name is Martin Akubweze. Right? Which was why you refused to follow me to the mother's house. Because you know you would definitely be exposed. Maya, look, I'm sincerely sorry, okay? I actually wanted to tell you, but just... But you never did. Instead, you did everything in your power to manipulate this case. Including faking the forensic reports. Oh yes, I found that in your room. What I don't understand, Martin, is why you ask that we continue on this investigation when you knew you already killed them. I, you're getting it all wrong. I did not kill Sophia. Yes, I, 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 I killed Pedro, but for Sophia, I mean, why should I kill her? For what? I actually wanted us to continue the investigation because I felt one way or the other we will find out the truth that Pedro killed Sophia. How, how did all of this happen? When did you change? Martin? <sighs> it all started years back. I was barely 10 when mom passed away due to lack of money to take care of her health. And my dad, who was married to her friend at that time, brought me to the house to stay with them. All just to avoid people from gossiping. From the day I entered, I knew I was not going to find it easy. I knew things will not work out well. But what can I do at that age? as if I'm happy to bring him in home. Remember, he's my son. Everybody around me already know. You want me to lose face by abandoning him after his mother's death? He is not your legitimate son. So you owe him nothing. I know that. Could you please allow him to stay? That's all I asked of you. I'm not liking it myself. If I will allow him to stay in this house, you must win everything that you have to our son, Pedro. That way, I can consider him. Why are you scared that Pedro will share his inheritance with him? Jen, don't worry. I will call in the lawyer at once, and I will whip everything to him, if that pleases you. Uh, uh, let me see you do it first. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. That car was all I wanted. You are both the best. <laughs> Welcome, my sweet. Let me fit to give you this car gift as for your birthday.
because she loves things so the car gives me stupid. I keep wondering, was it in my bed day a few months ago? And not only my father got me a kick in my own bed day. You have a roof over your head, is that not enough? expect him to share the same privilege by Pedro. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. Am I mad? No, you're far from me. Okay, don't go believe in rumors. Hey, hey, you. I've been looking for you since. Where have you been? And what do you want? I have the cinema with you to catch the bike. And the driver said he's going to be here twelve thirty. So I want you to start getting my car ready by washing it, okay? I see. You have lost your mind, right? <laughs> Are you saying no to the legitimate son of this house? Pedro, do you realize you're talking to your elder brother? Senior. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you. Seniority is not by age. It is by what you have. And I am very, like, I am damn rich. You are just very poor. So you have no other choice but to obey me. Hmm. Then, come here. Where are you going? Hmm. If I beat specific you know, they will say I beat somebody. I hope you are going to wash my car. Martin. Martin. What is going on here? Huh? Well, mom, I told my illegitimate brother to wash my car, and I even told him politely, but he refused. Why? Huh? Mom. Hey, shut up your mouth. You, illegitimate son. My legitimate son asked you to wash his car. You refused? Me warn you. If I should come out and find out that you have not washed that car, and you are asking him questions, you regret the day you stepped your legs into this house. Do you hear me? Now, illegitimate son, out and go and wash that car. Hello, son. Hello, son. <laughs> Mm, don't worry, my dear. You are not going to be late for your movies, okay? <laughs> Let's go inside. Let me go and give you a cold drink to take. <laughs> I didn't refuse to wash Pedro's car until my wife intervened. I don't want to interfere. Because if I do, I will disinherit you immediately. Dad, how many times do you intend to disinherit me? I have known from the onset that I will not be able to get anything from you as my father. But I won't ask for more since you have decided to choose between your sons who to favor. I have decided to take my own destiny into my hands. And what is that supposed to mean? Dad, I've decided to leave. I'll be better off in the street. At least I'll get respect there. No one will treat me like a body. As for the car, I washed it because I wanted to, and not because anyone asked me to. And there's just one thing I have to tell you. You are my dad, and that will never change. Regardless of how you treated me, I still love you. And you have to watch it with Pedro. You are all leading him to a path of destruction. And when that will happen, 
won't be able to control it. Goodbye, Dad. Leaving the house will not solve the problem. I am like your shadow. I will follow you wherever you go. I will make sure I destroy you. It's a promise, my dear brother. That was how I left the family and I shortened my name to avoid being linked to them. When my father eventually died, they refused me from entering the compound. I had no choice but to leave them to their grave. Pedro. Pedro made good use of his strength when I fell in love with Sophia. together you still cheat on me Martin cheat on you I don't get it how what is this who's she wow <laughs> you're seriously asking me this question you go sleep with a girl and you turn around to ask me who she is goodness <laughs> hey, sorry, sorry 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 this is funny I mean <laughs> I don't know this person. What's she doing on my bed? Goodness, Martin. Hey, just, come just, on. Don't, don't you dare say another word. You're an inspector of the law, right? At least have the dignity to say the truth. Just. You're don't not say a word. You, you know. For a moment, I, I really thought you were the one, you know, so, so calm, reserved, so disciplined. But then you're, you're not different from, from every other man out hey, there. Hey, you're, hey. you're, 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 shh. you're the same. Sophia, you get in this whole thing. Don't say another word. I'm, I can't do this anymore. I mean, this, this, you, you, you. You know, I can't do this anymore, Martin. Hey, so, Sophia, look, I don't know what she is doing on my bed. I don't even know this person. Save it. Just save it. I'm done. I'm done, Martin. Sophia. All efforts made to make up with her and find out what happened was in vain. She moved on faster than I expected. What's this? Hey, so...
seeing them together was when it got done on me that Pedro was behind our separation. And just like he promised to be my shadow, he is making good on his dream. What was that for? Huh? Oh, I see, I, I see that you have improved on your driving skills. So you think this is an action movie, right? So tell me, what scene was that? Pedro, how so low can you stay? Huh? To spoil my relationship just to prove a point? Yes, I spoiled your relationship just to prove a point. And I won't just stop there. I'm going to get married to her and I will leave her. You know why? Because I don't love her. I'm going to use her left, right and center till she becomes second hand because that's what she deserves. You wanna hit me? Huh? Come on, hit me. Do it! Pedro. Do it! Then I will see you in the entire police force to come because I see you don't know your job. Pedro. Pedro! Sophia, why are you doing this? Why are you making things difficult for us? What's the essence of God? You're making a very big mistake with Pedro. Oh, so apart from what she did, apart from cheating on me, you still want to tell me what to do? You still want to decide for me whom to be with? Haven't you done enough harm already? Sophia, I thought you loved me. I'm surprised you've just moved on so easily. <laughs> okay. You wanted me to stay at home, right? You wanted me to sit back and cry. Oh my God, oh my God. Because you cheated on me. <laughs> you forget something. That I am Sophia. And I do not allow small things like you bother me. Sophia. 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 For goodness sake, Pedro doesn't love you. I mean, He's just using you. You should know that. I mean, you of all people expect you to know that. And that is coming from a cheat like you? Really? <sighs> breathe in, breathe in, Sophia. Calm down. You know, I'm so tempted to be angry at you right now. But I will not. You know why? Because I'm in a very good mood. You, you're, you're, you're a police officer, right? An inspector? And um, you guys always ask for proof, evidence. Good. So this is what we're going to do. Mm? Why don't you get me an evidence? Something, anything. A proof or, you know, something to show that Pedro is cheating on me or Pedro is using me. And then, who knows, I might reconsider you. And you really have to do that fast because our wedding is just around the corner. What? Yes. What? what? What do you... Oh, sh... Sophie! Pedro? Oh, God. God. 
This guy has killed me. Petro! Come on, Ernest. You and I know I don't love Sophia. She's just a pawn in my hand. I need her to prove a point. Guy, yeah, I know. Which is why I think you should let her go. Getting married to this girl only to leave her will destroy her life. Guys, she has done you no wrong. Don't use this girl, please. Come on. She's not even your sister. <laughs> I'm Pedro, and I will use anything and anyone to achieve what I want. So don't worry. She will be hurt, you know, but not too hurt. <laughs> oh my. You wanted a proof. I have a proof for you. <laughs> yeah, it's the proof. <laughs> nice one. Pedro. Pedro. Oh, God. That was the proof I called you. I wanted her to watch the video back. I was too late. Before I got there, she was dead. The rest you will do. This is not good. It's not. I know. But no matter what, this is a murder case. I must be treated as one. How do you expect me to do my job when it has to do with you? get you arrested. Yes. It's the right thing to do when that you must. But you know I can't do it. You, you know I can't arrest you. You're better than this, Maya. Do your job. Arrest me. Okay. You can run away. Just run away. I'll tell them you've powered me. Oh, for goodness sake, I can't be a fugitive to the law. I can't go against
Wait a minute. Who sent me that video? too well after what happened. I'm also in shock that Inspector Matt, the best we have in this state, could have be accused of an act like murder. Irony of life, sir. I know. But that will not stop me from congratulating you for doing everything in your power to bring him to book and to bring this case to an end. It's refreshing to know that actually move on to other cases. Sir, I'm sorry, but this case is far from being closed. There is more to find out. But we already have the killer. Yes, but Martin agreed to killing Pedro, but not to killing Sophia. But he also accused the groom of killing his own wife. Which bring this case to an end? I don't think so, sir. Sir, from our findings, I... It's obvious that the killer of the bride is left-handed. And our groom is very right-handed. Are you saying we have another killer on the loose? Most certainly, sir. Did you suspect anyone? Not at the moment. No. I, I may have to go back to the beginning to find out who sent me that video. Whoever sent me that video is either the murderer or knows the murderer. So why am I here again? This is not your rogue of an inspector that did the killing. Who should allow us rest now? And give us the cop so we can bury him. We still have not found Sophia's killer. Or are you no longer interested in that? What does that have to do with you? Everything! Starting from telling me who Pedro married Sophia. Isn't it obvious who he was in love with? That's what everybody wants us to believe. But Inspector Martin had a recorded conversation between you and Pedro where you were telling him to let her be if he was not in love with her. So should we still believe the so-called love marriage mumbo jumbo? Well, I don't know about any any recording of some sort. But I'll say this. That there may or may not have been such conversations between Pedro and I. Look, Detective, I don't know who Pedro was in love with. He's the kind of guy that used to, you know, let things blow up on, on our faces. He thought he was intriguing. Pedro was very secretive. That's the kind of person he is. Also, you're aware. Are you aware that the video that implicated Inspector Martin was recorded in that phone. Tell me, did you take that video? No! Like I said in my statement, Pedro instructed me to go and separate some special wines for his friends. 
By the time I returned, they were dead. I, I had nothing to do with this. So who do you suspect may have done the recording? Don't be petty, man. I don't know. I wasn't there, and I, and I don't want to speculate. Fine. It's okay. I want you to put down your account of the day for me. Are you suspecting me? Do I have a reason to? Not you calling me here every time you think you have something. I quite understand how you feel. But my job here is a job of asking questions. There's nothing I can do to change it. We need to find who killed your sister. And you are expected to help us find the killer. <laughs> how convenient. It took you weeks to find out that the same very inspector who is here in this office with you pursuing this case is the killer. And you want to give me the impression that you're trying hard? You and the best man were the only people aside from the bride and groom who had access to that room. <laughs> so tell me, do you have any idea of anybody who may have planted and recorded that video? Point of correction. Myself and Ernest are supposed to be the other two people who had access to that room. But your inspector friend came there anyway. Didn't he? <laughs> now how am I supposed to know if another inspector didn't come in our absence? Maybe you this time. <laughs> My dear. I'm trying really hard to find your sister's killer. If we keep accusing ourselves back and forth, we will stay here the whole day and make no headway. Well, I didn't see anyone. I was making sure the bridal train were ready for their dance performance. So, and, I only arrived at the crime scene when I heard Ernest scream. So, didn't see anyone. Okay. I'll still like you to think about it thoroughly in case you remember anything, anything whatsoever that may help us in finding the killer. Don't hesitate to let us know. Of course. She's my sister. So, I want to know who the killer is more than you. I would help in any way I can. Sophia, your keys.
considering the crime scene as we both know very well. Looking at this video, it was taken from an open door. And the only access door where this video can be taken from that room is the toilet. That's not as much. But why didn't the person come out to say what he or she saw? Something tells me the person did the killing. Do you still think Pedro killed his wife? <laughs> For the first time, I So, do you have a suspect? Yes. Who? Oh. Natalia. She's a, 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 a twin sister. I know. But this is a murder case. Everybody is a suspect. Yeah, you're right. Then get a proof. Breaking protocols. <laughs> you do that a lot, you know. That's something you're used to already. <laughs> That's just it. Natalie is pregnant and this was done a day before her sister's wedding.
You are the beast that murdered my son. I have always known that there is nothing good about you. Because you are a beast, just like your useless mother. I am tired of having you always connect my mother to everything wrong in your life. But I will not fight you today. I know you are mourning, so I will respect your grief. You murderer. <laughs> Accepted. You know, I am happy that in venturing into modern business, I actually started with your son. <laughs> I am glad. You know why? Because your son had it coming. He was destined to die by my hands. I tried to avoid it over time. But you know a dog who wants to die never listens to its master's whistle. It is you <laughs> and your generations that are dogs. I don't know why you just shout, you just like shouting. Blame me for his death for all I care. But I don't you care anyway. I don't care what happened between you and my mother. How much you hated my mother. But transferring such hatred to your son is what has left you without a son today. <laughs> Make sure that you rot in jail. That you will never see this sunlight again in your life. Fine, it's fine, man. A living dog is better than a dead lion. Let me out of your office. Yes! It's your mother. Beast of no danger. Just left it to you. Your generations will all die. You will never be alive. It's yours. So why am I here so soon? Do you have any good news for me? I do have good news. But I'm not sure if it's for you, Sophia Akuboise. I beg your pardon. Um, I think we should start addressing ourselves. Properly. Don't you think? Okay. To avoid misunderstanding, why not we go from the beginning? Hi. I'm Maya Reyes, and 
find you all. Oh. Come on, sweetie. You still want to play the hanky-panky game with me? Let's not waste each other's time here. You are Sophia and not Natalie. It's just the two of us here. I promise I won't tell anyone the truth. If this is the reason you called me, eh? Then I might as well take my leave. If you're going crazy, do not involve me in your madness. Wow. So you know that song? I kind of like it. Since we both have agreed on something, I don't we go the gaga shuffle. What do you want? Why you killed your sister and impersonating her? I did not kill anyone. Neither am I impersonating anyone. Fine. Since you want to play that way, I will play along. So, how's your baby doing? What baby? Pardon my manners. Of course you're not Natalie. Oh my bad. <laughs> I'm losing my patience. If you have something to say or accuse me of, then spill it out already. Of course. Here. And what is this? According to these pregnancy tests, you are supposed to be pregnant. But what I'm wondering is why you are not aware. Even though you had this test a day before the wedding. And how are you so sure that I am not pregnant? Or about the baby? Because the test carried out on you shows that you are not pregnant. Neither has any abortion been done on you in recent times. I do not remember having any test done on me. That's because I did not seek your consent. You know, actually, I wanted to run a DNA test on the baby to ascertain who the father really is. But unfortunately, there was no baby in this womb of yours. So, it got me thinking, and I decided to carry out the test on your sister. And it turns out, she was pregnant with Pedro's baby. So what proof do you have that she is not Natalie and you, Sophie? You do not have any right to carry out any test on me without my permission. <laughs> this is illegal. Just like the crime you committed. Oh, I was so sorry for this! wondering is why your sister died and the only thing you thought to steal from her was her wedding ring. Unless perhaps they're yours. Where did you get this from? This still doesn't prove anything. Really? Um, nice the priest what you have there. But I thought Natalie always wears her wristwatches on the left, while Sophia wears hers on the right. 
So why are you wearing yours on the right if you are truly Natalie? Whether left or right, there are both my hands. And <laughs> where did you get this theory of yours from? Now you are talking. You're beginning to like my gists. So I'll tell you more. I came into your house the second time after I got the DNA results. This time, I knew what I was looking for. Something to tell me the truth about who you are, the difference between the two of you. There was a confusion for me. A wedding ring in the drawer of an unmarried girl. This doesn't happen every day. I knew that something stronger was fishing. So, I went back to my drawing board. I knew I would find something that doesn't add up. Behold, the same ring is found on the wedding picture in the bride's finger, but none on the crime scene on the supposed bride's finger. I was close to drawing conclusions, but then I remembered someone who could help me with a clearer picture. Looking at those pictures, who is Natalie and who is Sophia? This is Sophia. Why? They're both identical. So how sure are you? Well, uh, Sophia wears her wristwatch on the right hand. And a thirty on the left hand. Something strange is happening here. And I will need your honest clarification. Tell me what you know about Sophia. Is she left or right handed? The Sophia that I know is quick to anger. She acts before she thinks. Don't get it wrong, she is a very nice person. Ambidacious. <laughs> she uses both her right and left hands very well. Which of the hands does she use reflectively? Like I said, she is ambidextrous. When it comes to reflex actions, she reacts fast with her left hand.
so viel. Your keys. wrong somewhere. I don't think Natalie is Natalie. I think she is Sophia. Well, I'm not too sure, but I feel the same way I'm thinking through the same line. How? At a crime scene when I had the disease to my eyes. I felt distanced. But when we were having the interrogation, trust me, I feel like I was talking to Sophia. So why didn't you come up with this? Because I barely know Natalie. They're twins. You know twins, they share the same attribute, same attitude. At the same time, I thought my head was trying to create Sophia in Natalie. doesn't prove anything. You were just speculating. Yeah. It's possible that I'm just speculating. But you and I know that you are Sophia and the dead girl, Natalie. So how come she was the one in the wedding dress? Hmm? If you had read the invitation card properly, you would have seen that the wedding was between Pedro and Sophia. It was never me. I have a little fear for you. Call it whatever you want. But you know it's the truth. Oh, please. <laughs> you and your theories. And what theory is that? So. Talk to the MC. Oh, bro, what's up? <laughs> yeah, don't forget my instructions, okay? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Thank God we left that place. My legs hurt from taking too many pictures. I should go now. Yeah, go. Separate the drinks. <laughs> All right, man. All right. I'll be coming for you guys soon, okay? No problem. Okay, yeah. So, I'll be back, okay? Oh, uh, baby, even you? Huh? <laughs> Okay, sis, let me go check on the bridal train to see if they're ready for their dance performance, okay? Oh, seems everybody's leaving me in this room. Ah, oh, well, be fast, Sha. <sighs> God, I'm so tired. Let me quickly take this off and use the bathroom. Oh. Oh, Pedro, 
always forgetting his phone. Imagine how I look like on my wedding day. Yay! <gasps> oh, so fine. ready to find out like this but then there is nothing I can do about it Pedro was my lover first before he became yours but he chose me he chose me me your sister is that too much for you to handle it is not my fault that you took him from me he still comes to me and I love him too <laughs> so how is that my fault About you too. <laughs> Unless it's tense. <laughs> You're the wife. <laughs> but I'm the one carrying this child. What? Did you just say? <laughs> Don't you dare touch me! Whether you like it or not, there is nothing you can do about I and Pedro's relationship. <laughs> just continue being his wife on paper. Why I be his wife at So tell me, 
Do you have anything to deny? Night. You're good at your job. I must commend. Everything you said happened. But I also know why you're doing everything to get me locked up. And why is that? Inspector Martin. You want it. You have feelings for him, right? Well, I, I, I wouldn't deny having feelings for Martin. But that has not beclouded my sense of judgment. So, deny it. My sister was everything I had. You know, she was all I had. I was angry at her for what she did, but it was not in my intention to kill her. And... <sighs> Inspector Martin, such a good man, but I lost him in the process. Take revenge for him and myself. Uh, hold on. Aren't you deviating from the discussion at hand? You won't see me behind bars, right? Fine. <laughs> but I will make sure you join me. You know. I can deny everything, but I won't. In that way, I can make you join me. Why are you so bitter? The man you are fighting for is the same man you rejected, and he is in jail. What makes you think you can send me to jail? Even if you do, I won't be there for long. You think I don't know that? I do. But you will lose everything. Yes, you will lose everything that you want and have. Now that is a promise. With the power vested on me, and I having found the accused guilty as charged, I hereby sentence you, Sophia Akubweze, to 50 years imprisonment with hard labor, without an option of bail. This is my judgment. Yes, come in. Sir. seems unfair to you. Knowing all you are cheap in the process. But rules are rules. You broke a lot of rules and protocol. You did a lot of illegal things in the process. 
like the ruling said, you will have to serve a one year jail term for misusing your authority. I do understand, sir. And I don't regret my actions. But you know you will not remain on the force after you serve the jail term. Bad man, tell me what your plan be. Yeah. Why you wanna harm me? Yeah, me you wanna take me through the fire and then you wanna ban me? You wanna outrun me? Oh, me but my eyes on you like the eyes of an eagle. Oh, no, mm -hmm. 